As Jason here, coming from a very sunny Lowen Road, we've got a video tour today for you on the 2011 Auto Sleeper Cotswold that's just behind me. This is a 2011 model, it's a two berth based on the Peugeot front. We're going to have a walk around, point out some features, show you what it's all about. So come, let's check it out. So it's a two berth based on a Peugeot, 7.2 meters long, and it comes in weight wise just over four ton. So you do need a C1 license for this. You've got end bathroom and washroom, but in the front, you've got this gorgeous lounge. Of course, you've got the two long cushions going down each side. You can have those as two single beds. I imagine a lot of people will or pull them into the center to make one huge bed. Nice storage going right the way over the top and round. Now, vehicle wise, it's a 2.2 litre, 130 brake horsepower Peugeot. It's a six speed manual with cruise control and air conditioning unit. We've got our inbuilt radio just here, FM, AM and CD player. We don't get too many of those these days. Dual captain swivel seats, so both the seats turn around to face into the rear. And what that does is it allows you to turn around, put your feet up along the seats, and watch TV and hang out facing the back. And this is the view when you do so. Now a motorhome like this has got really what I call a nice long corridor effect. So it's not broken up from the front to the back with different rooms and chambers. It's got a nice long feel. 7.2 meters isn't that particularly big in a motorhome, but it feels spacious. It feels open and big. And that's partially because, because of that long corridor your nice long windows going around the side. I mean, a, a bit of a detail. Look at the length of that side window. It's nearly the full length of the cushion. Moving on, we've got the kitchen area towards the back. On the left, we've got a full length Thetford fridge and freezer. Up top, we've got our built-in integrated microwave unit just there. And then behind me, we've got our Thetford Caprice cooking unit with separate oven down below, grill, three gas burners and electric hot plate up the top. And then our sink unit. As you can see for a 2011, it's been really looked after and it's had good care taken with it. We'll hop into the back and I'm gonna show you this end washroom and shower just through here. This is a real good use of space from Auto Sleeper. You've got your sink just there with your mirror, hello. And then you've got this really groovy shower with black tiling. So you've got a separate toilet shower. What I mean is your shower is all contained within this area. You've got a door that slides across. It's not spilling over into the rest of the washroom. I'm a big fan of that personally. It's one of my preferences in a motorhome. Some nice wardrobe space here again all extra storage a rail up the top and then we've got a toilet just down here more storage lockers and, and cupboards just down here like so and then we're in the back now auto sleeper it's a, it's a, a good quality manufacturer there's some nice finishing touches in here. For example, if you look at the storage drawers, they've all got this button. Now this won't open until you press the button, like so. Small detail, but something to consider when you're driving along the road. These cupboards aren't rattling. If there's no cupboards, you're gonna feel it more. But with the button, it secures it nicely in place, eliminating, you know, reducing the rattle. Little, little details, little signs of a good quality motorhome, in my opinion. Up over the top, you've got this nice little shelf storage unit. It looks nice, looks the part, more storage, and then some sort of sideboard. Now in here, you've got a reverse camera, you've got your wind out canopy and a bike rack. You, those nice little touches and essentials in here. We'll have a little walk around the outside now. So you've got your rear door with your canopy just along the top. Bike rack on the back, reverse camera. 
And there we go, there we have it. Now this is available for sale. For full details, go to the description below. In there you'll find details about this motorhome, all the details about us. As always, do leave a comment, tell me what you think about it. We'd appreciate it if you subscribe. But for now, thank you for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you.